right? I sent Director Ray the letter threatening contempt of Congress proceedings if he didn't hand over the document at 3 o'clock. Uh, just a few hours prior to coming on your show, Sean, I received word that the FBI director is committed to uh, meet with me next week in Washington, uh, and we can discuss this. But nothing's going to change with respect to holding him in contempt of Congress if he doesn't turn over the document. Not only do I expect the document, Sean, I expect to know exactly what the FBI did to investigate the validity of the claim, because if I, as I've said on your show before, this claim is consistent with activity that we have seen in other countries around the world, and it all stemmed over the course of 2015 and 2016, during the, the end of the Obama administration, when Joe Biden was vice president, and he took it upon himself to travel all over the world to, to some of our adversaries around the world and talk all about right, but, foreign policy and foreign aid. Right, so, but a 1023 is a confidential informant that would give information that they would take it. Maybe it's not fully corroborated. Now the question is, did they do a full investigation, A, and B, and secondly, um, if they feel or fear that this may be made public, um, I'm sure you would agree to see it in a skiff or a private setting. Would that be fair? That would be fair, but it's not classified. So the... Their argument that says they don't want to out their informant, I agree with that 100 percent. There's a process in Washington to, to prevent that, and that's called redacting the name of the informant. That